Hello, today's Bible study comes from Romans chapter 12, verses 3 through 8, and reads as follows. For the, by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. And according with the faith God has distributed to each of you, for just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not have the same functions, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Well, this is talking about service to the body of Christ. And it's talking about all these gifts, but no matter what your gift is, you ain't higher than anybody else and nobody is higher than you. We all working for the same body and Jesus is the head of that. And if I could put it in layman's term, it's saying the foot is no more important than the hand and the hand is no more important than the knee and the knee is no more important than the chest because we all have a job to do and we belong to each other. The hand that I have on my right hand belongs to my left foot. And it belongs to my right foot and to my left hand and to my face. We all are included. It's what it's saying in this humble service. It doesn't make your title. That's why God has no favors because we all won. It doesn't make your wealth. Doesn't matter. It doesn't make your status in life. Doesn't matter. We are all one in his mind and in his eyes. And there is no favor. And we all have gifts of some sort. We all can minister, whatever it may be. And, and Paul even takes the time to tell you what your gifts are, what some of your gifts are. But when you do have these gifts, and you all have them, every one of us who believe, if your gift is prophesying, then do it in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. Nothing wrong with serving either because Jesus was a servant leader. If it is teaching, then teach. Rabbi, the true teacher, Jesus Christ, shares his word with us that we may share it with others. But if we can share it where they can understand, then share and teach it. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. Nothing wrong with encouraging people and lifting their spirits up and telling them about the Lord and helping them in whatever fashion they may need. Sometimes it is just a smile. Maybe it's that pretty smile you have. If it is giving, then give generously. Some of you are more fortunate than others. Where... A whole lot may not be a lot to you, and very little may be all they have, but you have a lot. So if it's giving, give generously. And it doesn't have to be just money. It can be time. It can be conversation. It can be patience. It can be compassion. It can be love. It just says, if it is giving, good giving. Holy giving, 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 then give it generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. And if it is to show mercy, when we show mercy, we should be throwing a party because guess what? We've received mercy ourselves. Just think if we didn't. So there are many members in the one body and 
all it's saying is church is one unified body. These buildings, all these denominations and all these other man-made things, not the church, not of the one body. One body is the people of Christ. There are no denominations in the Bible. You can look through it and you won't find them. Why we made them? Because of man. But we still one body. I should be able to go to any church and worship the Lord. I didn't say a colored church because I hate that term. I went to a white church or a black church or whatever. You just go to worship God. You give him the glory. We are one body, and we do have individual members. We do have individual members in this body, but they work for the good of the entire body. Yes, we do. We cannot think that anybody is more important than anybody else when serving the Lord. We just know what the task was. The apostles knew what they needed. They got deacons. The apostles knew that the widows didn't have this. They served them. The apostles knew that the word had to be spread. They wouldn't spread it. The apostles knew that some had to stay here and they stayed. They just did the work to increase the kingdom and the knowledge of the Lord. Period. And they did their job. We will have a problem if we don't do it this way. We have to know that we are supposed to be united. If there is any part that goes to being an individual or segregating yourself out as we are doing right now, It won't be a part of the kingdom. That group cannot take away from the body of Christ. God, Christ are our common denominators, period. There are no others. And there is only one body in Christ. Be aware of that. In verses 6 and 8, he speaks to the gifts. God gives certain gifts to who he gives them out to. And we all have different gifts. You don't have to have the same gift others have, but appreciate the gift that they do have. You know, I, I look at how the churches are set up and you have ushers at the door will be glad that we have ushers and ushers keep doing your job because we need people to welcome people into the house of the Lord, say good morning, start the people's day off right, show them a smile and some hospitality knowing that they are welcome even into that building. But they still with church members. You have missionaries that go out on mission. You have deacons that do the work of the pastor to help out the pastor. You have a pastor that preaches. You have associates that help the pastor. All have gifts. Some of you can sing the high heaven. Some of y'all can't sing like myself. Some of y'all can preach. Some of you can teach. Some of you can listen. Some of you can hug. Some of you can smile. Some of you can show up and just be concerned and show some compassion. Some of you can speak up for people that can't speak up for themselves. Some of you can lead people who need to be led. Some of you can be good followers even though you know what needs to be done. Just know that you all have gifts and they are to edify the body of Christ. They don't edify man. They are not for us except to pass along as a blessing to another man because that gift is a gift from God and God's gifts aren't completed until we share his gifts 
with others that know of him and don't know of him. So this is talking, this passage is talking about the service while you're in the body of Christ. And the service, is, if you notice, I said service. We serve. Jesus came to serve, not to be served. When he comes around that second time, it's going to be different. But right now, we in the serve industry, we serve the Lord. We are slave to the master. And if we have the inheritance of Jesus Christ, well, Jesus Christ was a servant unto us and to his father. Amen.